Ecclesiastes 9.17 says, Words of the wise spoken quietly should be heard rather than the shout of a ruler of fools. Ecclesiastes 9.17 It is better to listen to the still voice of God in quietness than it is to listen to someone who may be older, may have more experience, but is a fool. Because many times people tend to... Uh, accentuate and put people on a pedestal based upon the title of their position when we know uh, the position is just a title it doesn't determine the character of a person it doesn't determine the full story of how they got there it doesn't uh, reveal the true conduct of their nature and so many times unfortunately uh, especially Christians, and we know that we can become Christian uh, by being born again, by believing that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, and repenting of our sins. Many times people, even in the Christian realm, uh, will brag and talk about the people they meet, rather than bragging about what God is doing. And that is a clear revealment of what is going on within the heart. And I've had this happen within my life. You know, it's exciting to meet certain people uh, that I've come across with. Uh, you know, millionaires that are worth seven, eight, nine figures, and even uh, a billionaire now, uh, I believe. And uh, certain people within uh, music industry and um, just other things. It's ex it's exciting when this happens, and it's okay when this happens. But we need to monitor our speech. What are we listening to more? What are we bragging about more? Because a foolish person is going to always brag about who they've met rather than bragging about what God is doing in their lives. And so it is better for us to just listen to the voice of God and seek after God rather than seeking trying to uh, meet the popular person in high school or college, trying to get buddy-buddy with the CEO just for our personal gain, uh, trying to uh, get to know these famous people or the people who know famous people. We need to seek after God much more than these things because these things can become idolatrous and eventually we're going to allow uh, people to speak more into our lives than God is speaking into our lives because whatever we pursue after, that is the attention we are giving. And whatever attention we are giving to, we are allowing that very thing to, whether we know it or not, transform our thinking, influence our thoughts, and the like. Someone who continually uh, is sinning and sits behind a screen of pornography is going to have their mind warped in a lustful state. Someone who's always hanging around people who all they talk about is money, money, their God is going to start becoming money. And we know from scripture uh, that uh, one cannot serve both God and money. It has to be one or the other. The, the root of all evil is the love of money. It isn't money itself, but the love of money. So we need to make sure that we are listening quietly to the voice of God, that we're spending time in his word quietly, because that is much better to listen to than the shout of a ruler of fools, uh, than the shout of a, a very rich person who's just very derogatory and putting down of other people, than listening to someone who uh, might be in our relational circle, maybe friends, family, or whatever have you, maybe in the work field, who uh, is... Uh, of a higher rank or older or has more experience, uh, but is continually talking in ways that are not edifying or building up. So may God just help us to draw us closer to him, to go to his throne, to s just sit in his presence and to listen to his still small voice, but also to read his word that he's already spoken. Uh, may we seek to do that rather than listening to the shout of a ruler of fools, because if we're allowing news media channels to influence us and we're listening much more to that than to God and his word that thing is becoming an idol and uh, eventually we are going to be proven for how much time we wasted on the non-essentials of life and things that really didn't matter and how our mind was drifting more into the world rather than into the things of God.